From time to time, I have people asking me what will happen if I move and I have solar panel on the roof or when they're buying a house, they have solar panels on the roof. What would happen in that case? Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Benson Pang, owner of Nestmate Solar. So first of all, if you have solar panels on your roof and you're thinking of selling, good for you. Thank you so much for installing solar in the first place. When you're planning to move out, you have solar on your roof. The first thing you need to ask yourself is, do you own it or are you leasing it? You can definitely move the panels with you, but some things that you have to think about is, one, who's going to come, come out and take off the panels for you? How are you going to transit and send those new panels or old panels to the new house? And then does the new house have the same type of roof, roof mounts? Who's going to move? Who's going to install for you? Do you need panels? Are you moving into a bigger house? Are you moving into a smaller house? And then you basically need new panels. So let's not kid yourself. Don't move it because there's a lot of logistical nightmares. It's much easier to get new panels on your new house. So it comes down to what am I going to do with the panels now? If you own the panels, you get one, you can buy it out, just pay off the loan. And now you own the panels. You can put it in the purchase price of the property you're trying to sell, and then you can sell it to the next owner. The next owner may not have electricity bill anymore or very, very, very low. So you have to fully understand what those panels are generating and how you can present it to the, to the buyer. Now, if you lease your panels, that means that at the end of that lease terms, they're gonna come out and pick up those panels. Thank you for your business, right? And then you actually have to figure out how you can transfer that lease so call the leasing company and say, hey, how do I transfer the lease to the new homeowner? That's something you want to find out as you're listing your property. I've heard stories where the new buyer can't qualify for the lease and thus they can't buy the house. Or if you end up buying out the lease, you might be leaving money on the table because it's not really adding value to your house. Remember, they're gonna come out and pick up those panels at the end of the lease term, maybe 20, 25 years. It's not really adding value to your house. So hopefully this video will help you think about the exit strategy as you're thinking about buying panels or leasing panels. This is something that you can think about because not everyone has the same situation. So I would love to hear what your concerns are about going solar or if you have any questions about selling your house with solar panels on it. I'd love to help. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends, family, coworkers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.